Hey guys, it's me, Mario. And today we're going to continue Nixa, the Deathbringer. Yeah. <clears throat> Chapter 8 Into the Cave. <clears throat> How you guys do today? Hope you're doing well. And let's get this started. <coughs> the light from the entrance died away behind Tom and Eleanor as they ventured cautiously along the tunnel. They couldn't see anything. He guided himself by touching the wall with his free hand. He could feel Elna close behind him, her hand on his shoulders. Before he, before they had gone very far, Tom began to feel a tingling in his feet, and in the fingers that touched the tunnel wall. The walls and floor were sh were vibrating. Nixa must be using her voice against us. He said, before he remembered that Elena couldn't hear him as well. But it's not going to work, he thought. We're much smarter than she is. Eventually, they, eventually, Tom thought he could make out the tunnel stretching in front of him. A faint light tr trickled in from somewhere up ahead. As he and Elena walked forwards, the light grew stronger, until they came out in f into a wide open space. Thin shafts of weak light shone down from gaps and crevices. Stalactites hung from the roof of the cave, while stalagmites grew from the floor. Tom could, Tom thought they looked like rows of huge, mis misshapen teeth. Elena prodded, Elena prodded Tom sharply in the, the back and pointed to the other side of the cave. Tom braced himself as he thought a glimpse of a monstrous creature weaving its way in and out of stalagmites. He recognized the uh, coiling tentacles and skin dripping with slime. Nixa, Tom, could see the ghost beast's mouth moving. He knew that she was using her deadly voice, yet he couldn't hear a thing. With Elena just behind him, he darted from one stalagmite to the next, trying to stay hidden as he made his Way towards the beast. Here is Nixa. <clears throat> but Nixa spotted them. Her clumps of eyes bulges with rage. She knows we can't hear her. Tom thought. Nixa's huge mouth open. <clears throat> Nixa's huge mouth gaped wide, as if she were letting out a shriek. A fierce wind whipped through the cave. Tom and Elena grabbed the nearest stalactite, as so that so the blast wouldn't sweep sweep them away. Excuse me. The wind ripped chunks of rock from the stalactites and stalagmites, and send them hurtling towards Tom and Elena. Add. Always have to wait. Ugh. Tom grabbed his friend and dived for cover behind the stalagmite. Coward, 
he yelled. He couldn't hear her himself, but he knew Nixa would hear him. Come closer and fight me. Tom managed to to unsling his shield on in time to ward off the first of the rocks. This is so strange, he thought. He could feel the thump of the rocks as they hit the, his shield and bounced off, and he could see them crashing to the cave floor, but he couldn't hear a sound. It's like a dream, if it isn't really happening, as, it isn't, as if it isn't really happening. Sorry, there are like three I words there. <clears throat> As he crouched, Tom could feel the vibrations in the cave floor and the static might growing, growing stronger. Either Nixa's getting louder or Eldru's magic is starting to fade, he thought. Tom knew he had no time to waste. Springing up, he chain, he charged straight at Nixa, whirling his sword above his head. Just as he reached the monster, Nixa swif swiftly changed her shape. She became the beautiful woman dressed in scarlet robes. But Tom would not be deterred. Deterred, for Ventia, he yelled, even though he couldn't hear her couldn't hear himself. He struck at Nixa with all his strength, but passed right through her, just as he had passed through Taldon back at the palace. Seeds changed into her ghostly form, and gritted, Tom gritted his teeth with fury. We'll have to outwit her, not outfight her, he realized. He spun around. Nix <clears throat> he spun around. Nixa stood in front of him, her head thrown back as she laughed. As she laughed, in one hand she held up a broken piece of a golden disc. Tom tensed as he recognized part of the amulet of Aventia. If he could get it, he would be one step closer to saving his father. Well, there's blood in my veins, he bowed. I will not fail. And here is disguised Nixa holding up the piece of amulet that Tom needs to restore his father. And yeah, Nixa turned into a Turned into the beautiful woman. Turned into the beautiful woman. Yeah, that was chapter 8. Into the cave? Yeah, into the cave. <clears throat> Hope you will join me on Thursday when I read Strength of the Sword, chapter 9. Well, that was a chapter. It was kind of it's kind of obvious why Nixa noticed them immediately because they can't hear how loud they are. <laughs> Tom and Elena didn't know how loud they were when they entered the the cave, so Because of the incantation of Elderu. Elderu? 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like Malville. Or Marvel? I think it's Marvel. But yeah. Hope you like, subscribe. And hit the bell if you guys are interested in more Beast Quest. Series 4.
Alright. Bye-bye for now. See you on Thursday.